Tag, and welcome to our ninth tasting. Here at Il Mercado, we're celebrating Oktoberfest week, and here we have Josh Brent from Fresh Beer. He's going to be guiding us through a few of our different beers that we will be carrying for the rest of this week. Josh, tell us a little something about yourself. Again, my name is Josh. I'm a sales rep for Fresh Beer. We are a local provider here in South Florida for uh, some of the more exclusive brands of uh, craft beers, mostly American craft beers, but we also do uh, carry some of the higher end uh, uh, imported beers, uh, particularly uh, Eyinger from Germany, mm -hmm. who we're going to showcase uh, some of tonight. Okay, cool, perfect. So the first one that we will be tasting is the Eyinger Brauweiss beer. This is a, a, a true German Hefeweizen, actually from Germany. Uh, Eyinger is the name of the, the brewery. They're technically, in Germany, they're called Brauerei von Eying. Uh, so it, they're in the town of Eying, right outside of Munich. So it's an unfiltered wheat beer. It's all about the yeast. You get a lot of, a, a, a strong portion of the flavors from this beer come from the yeast. So banana flavors, clove, and then in the you know, style of being a wheat beer, there's typical kind of nutty flavors as well. Mm -hmm. uh, very light, very refreshing, amazing nose on this beer. Mm, you really get those aromas and those uh, flavors that Josh was talking about earlier before. And on the palate itself, the beer is nice, light, refreshing, very crisp and clean. Um, a good representation of this beer. This is about as good as it gets with the Hefeweizen. There are a lot of others out there, but this is unsurpassed. Uh, next, this one is uh, geared towards the fall season. Uh, it's called Pumpkinhead from Shipyard. Shipyard are out of uh, Portland, Maine. In all the seasonals, this is our biggest seller. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's one of the first pumpkin beers made now you know, you go to the store and there are a handful of, of pumpkin beers all over the place. This is one of the first and definitely the most popular. There's a little bit of, uh, of uh, pumpkin in the mash, um, so you get some notes of that as well. And it's just a very crisp, light, golden color, traditional American wheat ale with hints of uh, fall flavor. Perfect for the season right now. Mm, definitely, right off the bat, you get that cinnamon, you get that clove that you were talking about, a good allspice as well. Yeah. Um, and then on the palate itself, you get that great little underlining flavor of the pumpkin, um, which comes from that all natural pumpkin that they use in the production process. Yeah. Now, the next beer that we will be trying is the Shiner Oktoberfest. This brewery actually predates Prohibition, mm -hmm. one of few. Cosmos Spotzel uh, arrived to the United States set up his brewery, was able to actually survive through the whole Prohibition mess. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and so uh, they set up in Shiner, Texas, coming from Germany and staying in the family. They're very traditional. So this particular Oktoberfest is quite a light-bodied Oktoberfest. Um, basically, all Oktoberfests are in the style of Märzen, which is an amber lager. This is a, a fairly light-bodied and quite easy to drink in the style of the Shiner beers. Uh, if anyone's ever had a Shiner Bach, you, you look at it and it's a very dark beer, but yet it's incredibly light and easy to drink. Similar with this. Get that slight little um, hoppiness to it, a little bitterness at the end. Uh, still, you get that great, almost, um, I don't know, yeasty bread uh, flavor as well, Ready. the component. Yeah. Um, Really nice, medium body, perfect for just relaxing with a nice uh, spätzle, if you get what I mean. Uh, next, from uh, Gordon Biersch. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with Gordon Biersch. This is a traditional Märzen as well. Uh, a uh, autumn style beer. Mm. Traditionally, basically what an Oktoberfest means is the last of the beers from the, uh, the harvest in the beginning of the year. They save everything and, and, and produce the beers from the last of the harvest in spring and into summer when it starts getting too warm and, and they can't harvest anymore they, and they plant the new crops. And so then when they start to begin harvesting the new crops from fall mm -hmm. is when they have their Oktoberfest. They're like, all right, drink up everything from last year and celebrate the oncoming of the new season. So. On this one itself, a little more caramel malt on this one. You get a touch more sweetness. Slight, oh, you get the roastiness right off the palate. Really, really nice, but still, you know, not too heavy, not too overpowering. Just nice and, um, you know, great body, great medium body, medium flavors, uh, but very delicious. This one, you're getting more into the heartier styles of beers, so you get a really great overall 
finish and impression on this beer. Right. Less hoppy on mm -hmm. this one, a little more straight, just kind of sweetness. Uh, less effervescence, less carbonation on this one, so it kind of sticks on your tongue a little more. Yep. Um, yeah, Gordon Biersch. Gordon Biersch. There's a reason why. Now, the next one that we do have is the Iyengar Oktoberfest Mirsen. Uh, Iyengar are the most highly rated of the German beers, particularly this Oktoberfest. I haven't had a better. Incredibly well balanced. Um, great, great body. A little uh, fuller in body than the previous two beers, but it's, it smells like fresh baked bread. It does, and, it really there's does. There's so much going on here. This uh, particular brewery has won medals from all, all over the world in the beer competitions in uh, 2003, 2005. They won best of in 2005 as well. So you can see as soon as you taste these beers why they have such an amazing reputation. Yeah. Again from brewery Iyeng, Iyengar, uh, Celebrator, a Doppelbach, which is actually a lager. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the the color and the fullness of character in this beer, it's sort of if if you want to look at it in uh, comparison, uh, uh, ale versus lager kind of world. This is the stout of the lager world. Uh, a thick, creamy head, so dark you almost can't see through it. Uh, roasted notes from the roasting of the grains. You get that sweetness, a slight smokiness at the, on the aroma as well. Mm. Chocolate malt. We end with a bang on this one. This is uh, uh, superb and available year-round as well. Uh, mm. Just a, a, a fantastic beer. Well, thank you guys for joining us for our ninth week uh, here at our beer tasting in Oktoberfest. Hopefully we get to see you later this week and uh, prost! Tonight, we're going to be doing our first blind beer tasting. I'm not sure how it's going to work out. Uh, a light saison with the, uh, the Sriracha Ace uh, hops. It's like a big, big... Like Japanese? Yeah. Jap it, 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 it's a Japanese hop. It is a Japanese hop. Uh, this does taste like sake-ish. No. <laughs> Japanese all the way, man. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's why he's the beer ninja right exactly. there. Exactly. What could it be? Raspberry or whatever. It's got those... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is bubble gum. Really? No, you can't get bubble gum. Though. I'm getting the bubble gum. It's like oh, bubble gum. Irish, 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 Irish. Duval, Belgian Golden Ale. IPA? I'm not even going there, man. It's not hoppy enough, bro. We could possibly call this a porter. A porter? I'm just going to start agreeing with Josh from now on. <laughs> For real. During our wine tasting, nobody nails as many wines as you do beers. Yes. Not even close. Disney World, man. Okay. All right, who bought the Mickey Mouse stuff here? Hennepin, Belgium. Colorado. Boulder. That is. Josh, you drink too much beer, man. I, I, I can't decide whether or not it's sour or bitter. Three philosophers. Three philosophers. Oh my god. IPA is oats. Thanks for coming to El Mercado's ninth uh, uh, tasting. Tonight was beer, and we had a lot of fun. Maybe more fun than we should have had, but. Uh, it was awesome. Right. It was awesome, actually. And uh, special thanks to uh, Josh Brent, the beer ninja from Fresh Beer. And uh, hopefully we get to see you guys next time. Prost. 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 Prost.